What's up everybody? So we're back with another video today and today's video is gonna be on Caitlyn Tubi. How fast do I think she can run? So you guys saw my title. I said, you know, I think she can run really fast times and Yeah, so if you guys Think I'm making this video on she ran those times? No, she didn't actually run these times yet. These are my predictions. I'm on her athletic.net right now as you guys can see so I'm on athletic.net and we're going to look over some of her records, you know, throughout the years. What I think she can run in certain races. So we'll go over like the mile and the two mile. And then I'll kind of, you know, go over some other things. This is like indoor, outdoor, this is high school, this is all of her stuff. And then we'll kind of look over cross country also and go over what I think she can run in cross country and all that stuff. So let's start going over this. So first she's done 1-800 in her career it says, or, or no, 1-800 this year. So her career best 800 is her sophomore year, which was last, this, not this last season, but last year, 2018. And she ran 209. This year she ran 211. She only ran it once, so I, I mean, I, I don't, that's the only reason I can say. If we go back to it, down to, let's go to her sophomore year right now. Let's see, sophomore year outdoor season, she ran it three times. She ran 217, 213, and 209. And she took first in that race, so that's pretty good. So... Then we go over and we say, okay, she got, you know, first and, 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 uh, that's, sorry, that's, we gotta go all the way to the top. Let's, let's go to the top. So, this year she ran 211, she ran some 1500, she ran a 425, which I think is her best, no, her best is 419, Four, or 414, sorry, 414 is her best 1500, which is insanely fast. A 414 is like, equivalent to like a 430 mile. So she's running some, you know, that's a fast 1500 right there. Now, that's her fastest um, 15, and that's outdoor. Indoor, she has a 1409. Her mile time, actual mile, like a one mile, is 433. So basically 434, 433. That's a fast mile time. She doesn't run any 1600. She just runs straight miles, and her fast 600 as a freshman. As a freshman, she ran in 4.50. I mean, look at her mile time. Her mile time as a 7th grader was 4.58. I mean, she's a 7th grader, and she ran in 4.50. I have never met a single 7th grader that can break 6 minutes as a girl. Breaking 5 minutes, that's insane. I mean, you look at her, her freshman year. She's running in 4, 4.48. Let me see. I'm going to go down to her freshman year, which would be 2016, outdoor season, right? 8th eighth, 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 eighth grade. Okay, she ran the 1,500 and 4.18, which is stupid fast. That is insanely fast for someone who is, you know, okay, she got obviously a 4.45 mile as, as a freshman, which, like I said, that is insanely fast as a freshman, 4.45, and then, and then um, 4.18 in the 1,500, that's insane. Even if you go down to her... You know, you go down to her um, ninth grade indoor season, you know, she's doing 425 indoors, 448 mile. And then you go and you go down to her, you know, even like we'll go down to her seventh grade year. It's like, look at this. She ran the mile in, in 458 and she got fifth. She probably ran against some like higher up people. But man, these times, some of these times are insane. I mean, she ran the 1000 and she ran um, 256 in the 1000. That's pretty fast right there. That's a pretty fast 1500s. And this is like 7th grade year, you know. This is like indoor season, 7th grade year. Then you get to outdoor season. She just starts destroying it. 3,000 in, you know, 10 minutes, which is pretty good as a 7th as a grader. That's actually really good. Holy crap. And then you get into her 8th grade year, 3,000 again, 10 minutes. And then same thing, 3,000, 10, 08, 8th grade year. But then when you get over to her... You know, you get over to her ninth grade year, she's going 3,000 and 942. You know, and then you get over to her and, nine, and then 10, 10 35 as a ninth grader outdoors. And then she runs two miles and 958 as, as a tenth grader. 958, right? And they're like, oh, okay, that's good. That was indoor. This is funny. That's indoors. Like, oh, that's cool. She runs a 1,500 and 1,537, which is her best, I think, which is insane. This PR on there. And then you go and say, okay, now she's going to run a 947 two mile, right? Outdoors. 947. 
a 909 uh, 3000 uh, uh, 3, meters and a 434 mile like cool you know and then a 414 1500 I mean the her her 10th grade year she ran basically as a PR that's her PR that's her PR that's her PR that's her PR she PR most of her PRs are all from her 10th grade year and then when you go to her junior year which is like this year she ran her PR in the 3000 was 301 she ran a 30 or 901 sorry 901 and her actual two miles was 9 951 which is the PR for that and then she has a PR for the 1500. This is indoor though. It's all indoor stuff. Her indoor 1500 at 419. And then she goes up to outdoors, and she has a season record of 3000 at 953, which is seven or um, six seconds, which is really nothing. Uh, 3000 at 921, which is oh all right. And then she has a 1500 at 425, which is whatever, and her mile 446. But she only ran one one mile. She ran mainly the two mile. And some fifteen hundred, mainly the fifteen hundred. So those are some crazy times. What do I think she could run off that? I would say that I don't know her diet, I don't know her training regimen, I don't know any of that stuff. All I know, she has some pretty good speed. She's running eight hundred and two hundred nine. Uh, she could run a mile in four. Was it four thirty three? So I do think her speed is a little bit lacking because if you look at her mile time, I mean, compared to eight hundred. I would think she could. She should be able to run like a two hundred five. I would think because she's running four. You know, she's running back to back two. What was that two twelve, two eleven? Yeah, two eleven back to backs. Uh, and she's only running two hundred nine as her best. And like two, like this year, her best was two eleven. So okay, well you're running a four thirty, a four thirty three mile. Oh, that's sorry, that's two sixteen or two fifteen, two two fifteen and a half, two sixteen back to back. So still, if you're running two eleven, it's like okay, you're pretty close to that, but. She has a little bit room to improve on the mile for sure. She has room to improve on the eight. She's gonna have to improve on the eight, and she'll have to improve on you know most most of those events. Two mile, she has a lot of room to improve. I think she can get down you know into the low nines if she really starts training hard. Let's go over to cross country though. See what she can do in cross country. So we go to cross country now. And her fastest three miles is 15.57, which is, you know, that was the season record. And then her fastest 5,000 was 16.09, 16.09 cross country. Uh, if you actually go to her season records right here, her fastest three miles is 15.55.3. She has a fastest 5K of 16.06. So her eighth grade year, she ran 18.11, which is faster than even I ran. And that was in eighth grade. And then her ninth grade year, tenth grade year, and then her eleventh grade year. So her eleventh grade year, she did run faster during cross country. I think it's mainly the courses though, because the tenth grade year she ran, she ran um, fifteen, fifteen thirty-seven indoors for a track. So I do think it's kind of like, like look at these races. I'm pretty sure these races are, you know, uh, more steep. But if you look at her, look at her places first, 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 fifth. And and she ran 2017, which is a terrible time for her. So I don't know what happened that race. Maybe she got injured, and maybe she wasn't feel, she, something happened. But she ended up getting fifth. She even got first running 1938. Let me see this race. I don't know if that's just like she that must have just been like a school. Yeah, that's just a school race when they burst each other. And she probably just got first very easily. I mean, that's very easy for her. I mean, she's probably just jogging it. They're like, just jog it, like, get first, you know? And she's like, oh, all right, and gets, like, 19. She's probably, that's nothing for her. I mean, she could probably do a marathon at that pace. So that was probably very, very, very easy for her. She would probably do longer than a marathon at that pace, honestly. Because I think I could, I was close to, yeah, that's, like, 9, that's, like, 940 pace. She chilling at that pace. Um, yeah, and then we go down to these. You know, she runs some good 5Ks. But look at, still, like, second, first, second, second, fifth. And this is like that's her, you know, this is her ninth grade year, so you can't expect her to win all of her races. Like right here, tenth, you know, forty ninth at Nike Cross Country Nationals. But then if you go to um, Nike Cross Country Nationals, that's her eighth grade year, right? Forty ninth. Go to her ninth grade year, she got fifth. So she goes from forty ninth to fifth. Er, sorry, right here. I think this is it. Thirteenth. Forty nine to thirteenth. Because that's Nike Cross Country Nationals. And then you go and you find Nike Cross Country Nationals as her 10th grade. And she gets first place at 1644. 
And then we go to her her um, junior year, same thing. 16.37, so she ran, you know, faster. And she gets first again. I mean, look at the times on here. I'm going to go and click on these times. It's insane how fast she is running. And it's not loading. Oh, well, that's not going to load. Well, but yeah, so those are the times. What do I think she could run in the 5,000? I think she could get close to the 14s, I think, by the time she's, like, you know, a sophomore in college. I think she just needs to really stretch and, and recover properly. Do not get yourself injured. Do some, like, good mile, fa go to some, like, mile, um, mile fashion release therapist, you know, wear KT tape. Do all the proper training things you need to do. Eat proper nutrition with the ketogenic diet and do some intermittent fasting in there. Just make sure you're eating, you know, really healthy, healthy foods, organic grass-fed meats. I think if she did all that and she like really dialed down all that stuff, make sure she's not getting injured. Make sure she's not overtraining to where she is getting, you know, the right amount of training in. I think she could really drop down her times, you know, more. I think if she overtrains, she's not going to drop her times anymore, and she's going to get stuck, and she's going to be like a no-name when it gets to, when she gets to college. Or I think she's actually going to step up her game, you know, push herself, and she's going to find that she can run even faster, and when she gets to college, she's going to win some crazy times. I know her junior year is not much different than her sophomore year, which is why I think that she is obviously better at the longer distances, so if it goes from 5Ks, you know, she's really good at the 5Ks. She's really good at the mile. She, her mile is actually, like, one of her best races. I do think she's anywhere between a 5K and a mile. I don't think she's, like, a 10K marathon runner until later in her career. I think for now, stick with the miles. I mean, you run in a, run in a fast, fast mile time. Like, the world record is 4.14, and you're running 4.33, so you're only 19 seconds off the world record. I would definitely stay in that, and you're only 17, whatever she is, 17, 16 years old, because she is only, a, you know, she's only a junior, going to be a senior. So, that's my video on Caitlin Tui. Those are what I think she can run. I think she can, I, I do think she can get down to, like, you know, the 4.20s in the mile. I do think she can get down to the low 9s in the 2 mile. I don't think this, this next season, but I think she could do it in, in definitely in her career. And I do think she could be a great 5K runner running down to the 14s when she gets, you know, into college and stuff like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up. Click all the links in the description and run over that subscribe button. Peace!